Hello, Mr. Nygren here. Welcome to a new game for the PlayStation. It's released in 1999, so I never played this game back then. I just finished the storm, uh, the battle mode actually, the one-player battle mode or single-player battle mode uh, as one character. Played it for the first time. I tried out two characters. I finished it with one of them. I didn't record the actual battles. I just uh, got an idea that I should re record uh, when I had defeated the boss. So in, in the final battle I believe I was very lucky I won both r uh, runs against the final boss uh, without uh, uh, being uh, hurt at all. But uh, previously, earlier today, a few hours ago, when I played most of the other battles, including for the boss, uh, the boss was actually difficult, so so I was just lucky now when I returned to the game, I had uh, left it on uh, continue. Uh, if, you, if you lose in this game, in the VS mode, then, then you get the option to either exit or continue, and unlike in most other fighting games, uh, it's not uh, on a timer, so you do not actually need to select an option immediately, so I left it on uh, unselected for hours. This game is pretty cool for a PlayStation game. <coughs> so the characters we have this girl, Irel. <coughs> That's the, the, the character that I used. So in this game you have only two buttons. You have the square button, which is the block button. You block attacks from enemies, uh, especially the ranged attacks that they throw at you. Then you have the triangle button, the attack button that you use to smash in this game. Now that sounds very simple and uh, very boring if you just smash uh, or, or mash one button all the time. But it's not exactly like that because you also use the directional button. So when you click for example X and left you do one attack and uh, X, uh, I mean when you click triangle and left you do one attack, triangle and right you do another attack, triangle and up you do one attack, and tri triangle and down you do one attack. And also, if you are close to the enemy you will do a close ranged attack, and if you are far away you will do a, range, a long ranged attack. So uh, there are quite a few different attacks you have in this game that you can pull off. and. Uh, uh, the animations when they do the attacks are actually really nice. Uh, so I'm using the piece, uh, the EPS, uh, EPS, uh, excuse me, the EPC S6, I believe emulator might have remembered it wrong with the name, but it's the PlayStation One uh, emulator uh, that makes the graphics uh, uh, the best they can be. If I played using the RetroArch uh, emulator instead, then the graphics would be way worse. Looked like they did on the PlayStation 1, but with a better resolution. So thanks to the computer, we have uh, a better resolution quality. It, it would be like, for example, playing a PlayStation 1 with an HDMI cable. But uh, when using the EPSX2, uh, no, the EPS EPSXE, emulator, PlayStation 1 emulator, then I don't just uh, increase the resolution, but also I am using the actual graphics card of, of the computer to, to enhance the graphics. That's why they look so good. Okay, so we have other characters. We have Midori, the other character that I tried. By the way, there are uh, two alternate skins. We have this look too played using this one, and we have this girl, Dory, she has this alternate look, and then we have this girl, alternate look, so in this game you play as uh, different like stereotypes of anime characters, it's like a fighting game where you select characters based on different anime stereotypes and then, then fight uh, and you can play story mode uh, that has actual cutscenes and such, um, like uh, animated cutscenes. 
uh, I believe they the English and the American, the European and, and American releases of the game. They they cut the the anime intros of the game and, and the extras, but and and each character. I believe there were a intro cinematic, yeah, an anime intro, and then a anime extra in the Japanese version, and then every character had uh, anime intros as well. Uh, but in the American and European releases of the game, <coughs> they cut all the anime uh, cinematics from the game. So I don't know what the story mode is like, but I believe they have some cinematics with the actual 3D models. So the European and American releases, they have English voices, of course. I believe the European version even has French and German and Spanish and such. But the Japanese, unlike the other releases, had uh, anime cutscenes and was, of course, in Japanese language too. Okay, <coughs> you can check the others. This guy looks a lot like uh, Guts, I believe, from Berserk. I haven't read or watched that anime, I have been thinking about doing it. Okay, I read recently that the, there was a guy that would continue the manga Berserk despite the fact that the creator died a few months back he had left uh, like a instructions on how uh, to finish the story to another guy that will continue okay. so I have watched and uh, I've watched quite a few anime series actually but it's been years uh, while I also read a few manga pockets but uh, not too many. Okay, <coughs> so this is like a game, <coughs> like a, it's, it's like a parody on anime stereotypes in the form of a fighting game. It's not based on a manga or an anime. It's completely standalone. It reminds uh, the player of an anime or manga. When you play it, it's very similar in how it plays. Battles uh, feel like something out of Naruto or Dragon or something similar. Okay. So I want to play this later, but I'm currently uploading a video, a Naruto video, onto YouTube. It's pretty big. It's over two hours. It's two hours forty-seven minutes, I believe and uh, took over 74 gigabyte in size because of the good graphics and high resolution when I recorded it using the uh, Dolphin emulator for the GameCube. So that game, uh, Naruto, uh, Gekido, uh, Ninja Tyson 4, the Nintendo GameCube, I actually bought it and, and imported it in back a in being the day. Capable of existing in multiple dimensions at one uh. time. And she so if you leave this uh, without moving the, c the cursor here or whatever, uh, the selector, then, then uh, the intro will start. You don't want to watch it now, I will restart this game later, and we will watch the intro and everything, we will play the story mode. Uh, but I have also access to the Japanese version, we might actually want that version instead, uh, because that version has the anime intros and extras. Uh, both of the game and of the characters, but uh, unfortunately that means Japanese language. If we play this one, we will have English language, but then we won't have the anime cutscenes. So I, I don't know. Maybe we will do the cutscenes separately and then start the game. Uh, but that could be problematic with the characters. Uh, but it will work with the game. But I don't want to to assemble the game. Uh, video of the game into many different uh, smaller parts that will have to be edited. I, I prefer just recording and uploading immediately. They have a lot of um, older games and uh, such that I want to play. <coughs> Could be old games that I haven't played in years, like the Dragon Ball and Naruto games. Or it could be completely new games like this game, Evil Zone. So it's a game from uh, 1999 for the PlayStation 1, but I never played it back then. I didn't own a PlayStation 1, you know. So I, uh, I had a Super Nintendo, uh, the, 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 
believe, together with my sister that we got in 1996. Then in 1999 I got a Nintendo 64 on my turn 10th birthday. So yeah, I got a Nintendo 64 instead of a PlayStation 1. The same year this uh, game was released. Okay, so I never played this game and most other PlayStation 1 games, sadly. But uh, in 2002 I bought a PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 2 was uh, backwards compatible with PlayStation 1. Unfortunately, most of the PlayStation 1 games had left the stores by that point. But I believe that I played at least Final Fantasy 7 to the finish. And uh, I played uh, Final Fantasy 8 until I reached the final area, Ultimatia's Castle. And I played uh, most of Final Fantasy 9 as well. So I played the three main Final Fantasy games. I also had uh, imported two games we are available in Sweden, so I'm from Sweden. Uh, I imported the game Air Gaze, which is a fighting game from 1998 or January 1999 actually, uh, where you play as mostly unique characters, but also I believe it has like five to seven Final Fantasy VII characters, such as Cloud Strife, and the Sack Fair skin. Uh, Cloud Strife with the same moves, just a different head and hair style. Uh, we have Tifa Lockhart, and then we have Sephiroth, we have Jaffi Kisaragi, we have Vincent Valentine, and we have a, like a dog uh, character that has a skin similar to Red Tartine. So we have uh, quite a few characters there, and I believe also that uh, Cloud. Uh, each character had like three different skins, but two of them are just uh, different colors. Uh, but I believe Cloud had his uh, Shinra soldier uh, model, and Tifa had her cowboy uh, look from her flashback, and Vincent had his Turk uh, Vincent uh, suit as an option. And I believe Sephiroth had, uh, I believe. Uh, bad bodied person where, where he has no clothes uh, on his upper body. Okay, I don't remember Yaffi's ultimate skin. Okay, but anyway, it's a fighting game uh, similar to this one with Final Fantasy character. We are hugely into Final Fantasy back in 2002, 2003. So then I played 7, 8, and 9, so I imported Gaze as well. Uh, and then I also imported a Dragon Ball game. It was actually pretty bad, uh, I thought. But uh, recently, when I tried it again, I actually thought it was pretty good for a fighting game for the PlayStation 1. The, the, the bad thing was that they had 3D backgrounds and 2D sprites. But if you compare the 2D sprites with the sprites of the earlier consoles, like the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy, or, or even the Sega Master System or the Sega Genesis, and then you can clearly see that the sprites of the PlayStation 1 are superior, but because they used 3D backgrounds it didn't really fit. Okay, so we, we are gonna play some older games <coughs> going forward, and some recent games too of course, but have a bunch of older games that I never played that I want to play and I also have a bunch of games that I did play that I want to revisit uh, once or twice if it's an RPG or something we need to probably do many episodes but if it's fighting game it's enough to do one video or so per game so um, I have actually the, 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 la the last few months no, actually the last few uh, weeks, so like for the last three weeks or so, I have actually tried out a few older games. Uh, in essence, I've tried out some fighting games, some role-playing games, and some strategy games for consoles like Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, PlayStation Portable, PlayStation 2, Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo Wii, and uh, the PlayStation 1. So yeah, we will play some of some games from for uh, for these systems going forward. And this game 
Evil Zone is one of those games. It's a fighting game. We'll return to it later. See you soon. Bye.